Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of the latest and very intriguing, very good, but ultimately kind of confusing, not kind of, pretty confusing episode of The Walking Dead. That's not to say I didn't like it. I liked it a lot. It was a great, fresh, new take on the show in terms of this storyline, at least. But before I get into that, of course, please be warned. Obviously, this is a spoiler-filled uh, video or review. So if you've not seen the latest episode, which technically, this episode technically won't drop till next Sunday, but it dropped earlier today on AMC Plus for people like me. You don't want to keep watching or listening as I'm going to be discussing spoilers, obviously. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, um, I really loved how they kind of tackled a whole new genre here which was psychological thriller slash mystery like it felt almost hitchcocky in a sense where it's like we thought the story was going one way but then towards the end there's this great big twist that uh blows the main character's mind as well as the audiences and then we got the mystery aspect like you think the, the audience and the main character is trying to figure out the mystery, think they got it figured out, but then they don't. Like they were half right, but not entirely. So I like that that was a fresh, interesting take that I haven't seen done on the show before. Ultimately, though, I was a little thrown off by a few things. Okay, so they established that uh, Eugene's Stephanie, which, by the way, this is going to sound maybe kind of mean and a little sad for Eugene. I honestly thought that opening scene was a dream. Or maybe it was a dream that was going to turn into a nightmare. Like he was just dreaming about his new ideal life with his new girlfriend, Stephanie, who's obviously deflowered him and good for him and everything like that. But it didn't turn out to be that case. It was all actually happening. It really did happen in real life. So, you know, I was, I'm glad I was wrong in that regard. But I did get the impression like mm, something's off here. This is either a dream or a nightmare. Oh, it's real life, but something still feels very wrong here. What could it be? And I guess she isn't the real Stephanie, and she was some kind of operative or agent working for Lance Hornsby, who's got a small inner circle of other random people or something like that. As soon as we saw the back of his head, like the silhouette of his figure, when Eugene was explaining his conspiracy theory to Princess, I'm like... Well, that's got to be Lance. That looks exactly like Lance. Like, we can only see the back of his head, but he's clearly wearing a suit, and he's, like, the only character we've seen in the show so far sporting a suit like that. So I wasn't surprised at all that Lance was one of the many people who popped up at the end of this episode, along with the fake Stephanie. And so I guess this means that the real Stephanie is Governor Milton's assistant, who's also Mercer's sister, apparently? Is that the case here? Is that... What was revealed or implied during the conversation between Kelly, Connie, and Mercer when they were interviewing him, that that's his sister and she's actually Stephanie. And then the end of this episode also implied that it was really her. So she and Eugene really did speak to each other during season 10 over the radio, but she didn't reveal herself in purpose for, for some reason and Lance and his inner circle sent this woman in to pretend to be her, but why? And then what what, what did they gain exactly? Like potential new citizens for the Commonwealth? Because I guess none of our characters are considered citizens yet. They're all just living there temporarily, as Connie and Kelly revealed in, their converse, in one of their conversations during this episode. Everybody's just temporary there in terms of our immediate group of characters. So what did Lance have by bringing in new communities like, uh, you know, a Hilltop, Alexandria and Oceanside? Like why, like, what was like, is that, was that his ultimate goal here was just to bring in more people for the Commonwealth? There doesn't seem to be anything particularly sinister about it. I mean, yeah, kind of fucked up to tug at and manipulate Eugene like that and pluck at his heartstrings. Although Lance did seem to genuinely feel kind of bad about it. But I don't think he's a total overall sinister psychopath. Um, you know, he's no saint, but then again, nobody is. But I don't think he's the enemy here. I think he's just doing 
things that he feels like he, he needs to do for them to get done or something. What that is yet, I'm not quite sure. But I did like how the end of this episode, despite how confusing it was, it was revealed that Eugene pouring out his heart and soul to somebody actually does have a happy ending where Stephanie is real. And hopefully she feels the same way about him as he does about her. Uh, even though the agent or the woman pretending to be Stephanie wasn't her, at least she slept with him, I'm assuming. So, yay, mission accomplished there for never getting laid until now. So, yay for Eugene. But at the same time, this episode is really hard to watch for Eugene because I'm like, oh, you poor bastard on so many levels. It's like, damn. Just when you think things are finally going his way, you know, and then it all comes... And props to Princess for being such a good friend throughout this whole thing. Even when she didn't want to break into that guy's apartment, when she was trying to give him advice and input and whatnot, she's a great friend. So good on Princess. Overall, very good episode. I also love how despite Princess and Eugene's little run-in with the Commonwealth Army, Lance, I think, is really starting to warm up to our characters because he's starting to get along with Carol. She helped him figure out that problem with the opium farmers and I think there's a healthy balance there where Lance gets along well enough with Carol and perhaps some of our other characters, perhaps more so than he does with other characters in the same group. So because there's a healthy balance there, you know, he'll be able to vouch for him if anybody else tries to or wants to uh, kick them out for whatever reason in the future or whatnot. So overall, pretty damn good episode. I liked the thriller mystery aspects of it. Twist was also pretty cool, if not a little confusing, but I think if I rewatch it again, it'll probably make a lot more sense, and it will probably be explained further in either next week's episode or in some other forthcoming episode. Oh, and I also love seeing Mercer with that badass axe of his uh, kicking ass. Well, we actually didn't see him do a whole lot of ass kicking, but the fact that he was covered in so much zombie blood means that he's a hell of a fighter, and he's a big guy too, so I hope we get to see him in even more action. And like Lance, he also uh, seems to be pretty one with the program, even though he doesn't completely agree with the program. But I don't think he's a bad man. I certainly don't think he's a villain. You know, he's not a, a murderous psychopath or nothing like the governor from season three. I don't think Governor Milton is too necessarily evil. I think she just does has a way of doing things that don't rub people the right way. But... It's still early, so uh, time will tell uh, what her true character and true nature is. But I'm pretty confident Lance and Mercers are not enemies. You know, I think they're more in a gray area with our characters, but that's okay because that's what makes for entertaining TV. So what did you guys think of this episode? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. If somebody, one of you, could please break down and explain to me step by step the Stephanie, fake Stephanie twist thing. I'd really appreciate it because I seriously was confused by that shit. But like I said, once I rewatch it, I think it will make a lot more sense and click with me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this episode as much as I did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one with uh, more Walking Dead videos on the way this year from both this show and Fear the Walking Dead. So have a good one, everyone. Stay, stay safe. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.